Hi, this is Dave for DiscoverDigitalPhotography.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can apply a texture to an image, but um, giving the texture a 3D look that sort of blends in with the image rather than just plain overlaying a texture on an image. So you can see here I've got a picture of a girl and she's got a texture overlaid on her face. So this is what we'll be working on today. Um, if you want to follow along with this tutorial, the image is um, this nice image here from African Phi. You can find it on Stock Exchange. And um, the lace picture, which I'm using for the texture overlay, that's by NKZS on Stock Exchange as well. And there's links to both these images in the video description. So you can download them and follow along with the tutorial if you want to. Otherwise, you can always use your own images or any other images, of course. Um, so to start off, we want to load our base image that we want to apply the texture to. And we go to Filter, and then Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Um, you can see it's already got the radius dialed in from when I did this last time. Um, basically you want something that blurs, gives the image a good amount of blur so there's not any really hard edges but um, there's still a good amount of uh, sort of definition in the image so the exact amount you'll want depends on how large your original image is but um, this sort of amount um, looks good to me so that's 30 pixels I've got on this image so I'm going to click OK there and then we go to File, Save As, and then we want to save it as a Photoshop document. And I think you know, I've already um, got one from the time I've done it before here. Um, if you just um, save it as a Photoshop document, I've just put Blur on the end of the file name there. And click OK. Just put OK because I'm replacing an existing file there. Um, now you can either close this and reopen your original image or I've got the history palette open here so I'm just going to click back on open to when I open the image. Now the next thing that we want to do is to apply the texture to the image. So I'm going to bring the texture image into Photoshop and um, I've just moved the um, window holding the image out um, on the Photoshop elements you might need to go to window and then image and cascade or tile then click on the background layer here in the layers palette and you can hold down the shift key and drag it over to your other image and then we can close that now the next thing to do is to resize this so that it fills the current image. So I'm just going to press Ctrl and T on the keyboard. And then holding down the Shift key and clicking and dragging. And now holding down Shift and Alt. Oops, one key there, Shift and Alt, so that's it. And just pulling this out until it reaches the sides of the image and then pressing enter to complete the transform. That looks good to me. Right, so I'll duplicate this layer now. So we've got a copy of the original texture layer. Um, what you can do here is, if you put it in overlay mode, this is what it looks like generally, which isn't too bad really. Um, I'm just gonna put that back to normal. If we go over to this completed image, um, if I put this on and switch it off. So this is what the image looks like with the texture just overlaid. And this was what it looks like with a displacement map where the displacement map hasn't been blurred, which is what we did in that first step. And this is what it looks like with a displacement map where the displacement map has been blurred which in my opinion looks the best. Um, by applying a displacement map to the texture 
it um, makes it sort of blend in with the contours of the underlying layer which is the face in this case um, much better than just applying a flat texture does um, right so we've got here our texture and now we're going to apply the displacement map of the blurred original image to it so we go on filter and distort and then displace horizontal scale is set to 95 vertical scale is set to 95 displacement map is set stretch to fit undefined area is set to wrap around click OK OK <laughs> um, and now we're going to open our um, image here that we blurred earlier and now it's applied the displacement map and it doesn't look like much like this but if we switch the blend mode to overlay and you can see that looks quite a bit better. Um, another thing you can you might sometimes want to use soft light as the blend mode or sometimes you might want multiply as the bend, blend mode. Um, for this image and this texture I quite like overlay. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to apply this um, texture just to the face. So I'm going to alt click the layer mask icon down here and that will create a black mask that hides everything in that layer. I'm going to press the B tool button on the keyboard for the brush tool it's using the bracket keys there to make it a bit larger and you can see I've got white as my foreground colour here so that will reveal the effect when I paint on the layer mask. So just going over the face and revealing this texture. Just going to zoom in a bit. I missed a bit there. Going over the ear here. and going around the edge of the face applying this texture and it's going to make the brush a bit harder along this chin give it a bit more definition I've gone a bit over there pressing the X key to um, swap to black paint there and paint it out looks good. Let's um, go for a softer brush again. And just painting along the edge of the face. And a bit over again there, just going to press the X key again to switch to black, paint it out. there but there we go let's zoom out a bit let's maybe touch that up around there a bit there you go. I'm just going to look at the mask now and you can see there's a few bits of mist around here Okay, really. Now, if we look at the whole mask of the image, 
you can see that the texture goes straight from her face down to her neck um, when in reality it should go under her chin when I mean, you can't see that bit um, so to fix this what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate the background layer again oh, sorry the texture layer um, so this is the texture layer with no displacement map applied it's just been resized to fit the whole image and just clicking on the move tool and drag it down a little bit and then go up to filter and um, you can go to distort and then displace and do the same thing that you did before or it well, should be up here as the last filter that you used so you can just click on that or press Control and F and then it will apply the displacement filter again to this layer um, so again I'm going to alt click to create a black mask that hides everything on that layer I'm also going to change the blending mode to overlay the same as the top layer and then just want to paint the effect in over her neck I'm just going to zoom in a bit here pressing control and plus on the keyboard and I'll just go over her face a bit and and fix it up later good. It's going to make the brush a bit harder. Switch to black paint and paint out over the bits where I've gone over her face. this top layer back on, zoom out a bit, that looks okay to me. Um, now if we zoom back in and if I hide this layer you can see the neck area is actually out of focus compared to the face. So what we want to do is apply a blur to this texture layer so that it looks a bit more out of focus. I'm just going to go to Gaussian Blur and something around 4.5 pixels, maybe a little more. That looks quite good to me, so I'm just going to click OK there. So that's just blurring this texture there. Um, right, the next thing I'm going to do for this image is to remove some of the effect from the eye. So I'm going back up to this top layer where we've masked it for the face. And I'm on my brush and I'm on black, which is paint out. And just painting out the effect over the eye and switching back to white and just fixing these areas that I've painted out that shouldn't be and I'm also going to paint back in the effect over the iris And then 
same on this eye. Good thing about using masks is that you can be a bit sloppy and you can always paint back in or paint back out any bits that you've got rid of by accident. It's going to paint back in the effect here. Maybe paint it out of the pupil. There we go. Let's zoom out. Yep, and um, so that's the basic finished image, I think, really. So it's just a case of getting an image and a texture. Um, applying a blur to the image and saving it as a Photoshop file. Then reloading your um, original image, placing the texture over it, making sure the texture covers the whole image. Um, applying a displacement map filter where you use the blurred version of the original image. And then putting, it in, putting the texture into overlay blend mode. So I hope that helps. Um, you can see the text version of this tutorial and more photo tips on discoverdigitalphotography.com and I'll put a link in the video description. Thanks.